smoke as we feel them fly 747 high I'm never choking steady smoking like that Devin guy or is it Wiz player you know what it is I just throwing up with that fire and I take it to the wind now I'm high as shit high as shit and I'm rolling slow and I grab the Sprite grab the Sprite and pull up some more sipping Texas champagne blowing California dro yes your pine no sick old man I got that Arizona YouTube, what's good? It's your boy GZ509 coming at you with another vid. Before we get started, you already know the deal. Hit the like, the subscribe, and that notification bell so you're notified anytime your boy GZ uploads some content. Shout out to my real ones. I'll pray for my fake ones. I hope everyone had a blessed day. As you guys can see by the title and thumbnail, Wait no longer, your boy Jesus is gonna do that review for you on those pine greens. We got a pine green situation in the house today at Jeezy's lab. So, you know, first of all, I wanna say shout out to my homeboy, JR. Thank you for letting me do a review on this pair. Um, He hit me up and it was late, guys. I'm, it's probably like 10 o'clock my time. And uh, he asked me, hey, you've heard about those uh, green Jordan 1s? He's not real familiar with the sneaker game or anything like that. And I was like, yeah, for sure. He was like, can you see if you can get me a pair? He's a size 15, so I figured it wasn't going to be a, uh, any kind of situation or it wasn't going to be real hard. So I went back onto the sneakers app. Sure enough, they had them on there, so I copped them, brought them here. They showed up today, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to do an unboxing. I'm going to do a review, and I'm going to give you my truthful truthful opinion on these sneakers as far as quality goes the look of the shoe but before we get started man i got a little a few things that came in today guys so it was kind of like a mail call too so we're just going to get into this real quick the first thing that we got in the mail today was sent from uh scent box guys and this is i play i pay for a subscription i pay 10 bucks a month for the subscription and what it is, is they send you, uh, if any of you guys are into colognes or anything like that, this is what they do, is they send it to you guys. Um, you get, um, they show you what, you what you got. So this one right here would be the Polo Red Intense. I think that's what this is. And then they send you your receipt, your inventory transaction receipt. Let's throw that over there. And then it comes in this little box right here which I think these are pretty cool, man. Uh, you know, your boy GZ, he doesn't wear a lot of cologne, but when I do, I like to have, you know, uh, a few on deck, you know what I mean? So I have a selection, so I'm not using the same cologne every single time or whatever. But this one is definitely Polo Red Intense. Um, and all you do is you just turn right here and then you just spray. Uh, I'll leave their link down in the description. Um, no promo code with that, but uh, I'm just I'm just letting you guys know if you guys are interested in cologne or anything like that, you guys can pick that up for 10, 10 I think it's like ten dollars a month, and they send you a different uh, scent every month. So, anyways, let's get into the next one. The next one is from uh, from Reebok. I'm excited about this, guys. And since I did the uh, the review on those Reebok Question Mint Georgetowns. I had to get this shirt right here, guys. This is a badass shirt right here. I seen it up on the website and I had to snatch it up. And yes, sir. Let's get that up there. Let's check that out. Yeah, that's right. Going with those Georgetown. You know what I'm saying? Gotta have that shit, man. Very dope in my opinion, guys. I had to grab it. You know, your boy Jeezy, he don't have a lot of... Uh, navy blue and gray shirts anything so i got a hat coming too and y'all know that i'm gu so i'm a zags fan so i can't be wearing georgetown hoyas out here in spokane or i'll get stomped out hey my man you know my man say you want to trouble you know what i'm saying you know I do. Yeah, come here you yeah, I went ahead and picked this up right here, and then I got a hat coming right here. You guys can check it out. I got them sitting right here still because I still ch admiring them. But man, looking good, looking good with the match and everything, guys. So, y'all let me know how you feel about this tee right here. It's definitely going to bang with it because that's where it goes with. 
And let's see, I got another uh, box. So that was from FedEx. And this right here is a box right here, guys. So I'm excited about this one too. I've been waiting a little while for this one. Um, let's get into this real fast. And this one I had to pick up and uh, I got another uh, sneaker review for you guys. I'll probably drop it next week. But these right here for it. So and when I show you guys the shirt, you're gonna be like, oh, I know what you got. I know what you got. So, um, ooh, look at that. They sent me a 25% off online order. Nice, I could have used that when I ordered this hoodie. So, I got me a Jordan 4 What the hoodie. Now, you guys know where I'm going with that, right? Yes, sir. And you see, I got the hat on right there. See how everything matches. Looking good, looking good. Nice quality. I love Jordan Brand's hoodies. Um, big, big fan of them. Um, I like the material on them. And they always have real high quality uh, material that they use them with. They're not thin. They're not too thick. And they're just, they're heavy. They're just right. So, with that being said, man, let's get into what you guys came here to see, which is that unboxing and review on them pine green things now like i said man my homeboy he got a size 15 foot so these are a huge ass pair and uh if you guys want to look at a review that i did on one of his sneakers i think it was the uh air force one low dennis rodman so you guys could take i'll put the link up so you guys go check that out but Let's get into this, guys, man. This is, whew, I can smell the goddamn leather out of the box. And look how big that box is, guys. Damn! That's a, fuck, that's a fucking man's foot right there. That is a man's foot. You know that the, and this motherfucker is heavy. So, let's read this style code, guys. Style code is uh, Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. Black, pine green, white, gym red. And as you guys can see, that size 15. But anyways, let's open this box and set this over there. And let's grab us, oh shit, these are huge. All right, let's grab this shoe. And we are gonna talk about this right here. And I know in my last video, guys, I said I was going to talk a little bit more why I wasn't a big fan of these. Um, but I got so into talking about the questions, the Georgetowns and Allen Iverson. I didn't feel the need to talk about these because, like I said, I wasn't a big fan of them. And I'm going to let you guys know why I'm not a big fan of these. So, anyways, by looking at the sneaker, guys, and it is a big sneaker so I can see every detail on the sneaker and everything. Um, one thing that I've noticed that they did different on the on the uh, the Jordan one is they have this uh, like it's like a stitched in patch of the wings logo, the Air Jordan wings logo right there. You guys can check that out, and it has like a semi gloss on it. Really nice. I do like that feature on the shoe, and it they came correct with that material that they used for that patch. That's something that's really dope. Another thing that I really liked what they did on this is that matte finish on that black. I think that is a dope, dope feature on this uh, sneaker too. And I mean, it is like, it's matte. Like, there is no sheen to it at all. And another uh, feature that I like, I always like this kind of leather right here. Uh, pebble leather right there it kind of looks like a basketball this is the best way I can describe it guys you know um, as you guys can see them right there really dope I like that part now the one things that I don't like about the sneaker guys um, is I'm not a big fan of green first of all um, I could have did without this red on here I think it well, why just go with just go with the green put the green on there and call it good if you would have put white on there I'd have been good with that too but that red it just it just totally throws me off you know um, it, it doesn't have a place I mean it's not even a color that like goes like doesn't look good with it I don't know it just that's just my opinion and I know I'm being really really picky when it comes to this but that's one of the the, the things that I didn't like about the sneaker 
Um, another thing that I didn't like about the sneaker is uh, the all white midsole. They like the, the bright white midsole. Like I like the sail. I think they should have threw the sail on there. I know a lot of people like the bright white um, midsole, but I, I wish they would have did the sail. Um, let's see. Another thing was I want. Okay, so when I went to uh, I went to Foot Locker first, and they had a pair sitting there. And I keep seeing all these review guys, like everybody's video, and everybody's talking about how soft these are, how super butter they are, and, and I'm like, okay, let me let's go check it out. So I went over there to Foot Locker. I don't know what I was doing there, but I what I always go to Foot Locker when I'm at the mall or I go to Champs. So I went to Foot Locker first, grabbed the shoe, and um, I'm pushing down on it, guys. And yeah, it's soft, but not like like super super soft like i i got some other jordans that i brought out and i'm gonna flip the camera around we're gonna put it on the table and we're gonna show i'm gonna show you guys what i'm talking about like you know i got to j just to just to let you guys know what i'm gonna compare it to i'm gonna compare it to the uh the um sports illustrated joints the spider-man joints the shadows the uh, New York to Paris's and then the bloodlines we're gonna go through all these sneakers right here and compare it to this leather right here so with that being said man let's go ahead and flip this camera around and we're gonna do our little comparison we're gonna run through all these sneakers and I'm gonna give you my honest opinion on which ones are softer and where this ranks out of all those sneakers so let's get it we got your uh, pine green 2.0's in the flesh guys and i'm like i'm not gonna do uh, a review because there's been a lot of reviews on this sneaker if you guys want to uh, see a review go check out mcfly kof you know um retro wiz did one um pops world all of them they did a review on a solid review too on them um and uh go check them out guys you know what i'm saying um they did a really good review on the sneaker but i am not going to do a review on this this is totally for comparison start off from the beginning guys and the side panel is pretty oh let's take the uh the insert out real quick the side panel it's nice it is it's real nice um no complaints there soft but i just i'm I thinking we're getting mixed uh thoughts and opinions on the sneaker like yeah it's soft but you know when i hear that it's softer than the other shoe that i know it's not softer then i have to put the comparison and i have to put it to the test so i mean it could be that three pairs that i put my hands on were stiff leather but i doubt it so you know so anyways, you guys can go to the toe box. You guys can see pretty soft, right? Pretty soft, right? Not too bad. This black leather, pretty soft. The Around the ankle, you guys can see around the ankle, soft, right? Let's see. Let's, let's compare it to, we're going to break the Spider-Man ones out. So here we go. Now, it could also be because I have a I have a smaller foot than the um than this one right here, but I see like my Spider-Man ones butterscotch. Butterscotch. Yeah. So, if I had to say is it softer than the Spider-Man one? No. It's close. But it's not as soft as the Spider-Man one. Okay, moving along. So, it lost against my Spider-Mans. And that includes the side panel too, guys. The side panel is softer than the side panel too as well. Now, the Sports Illustrated were very, very slept on, guys. Um, as far as softness goes. And... Yeah. But... Yeah, I'm going to have to give it to the uh, Sports Illustrated. The Sports Illustrated is super soft, even on the side panel. 
is 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 softer than this one too i'm gonna have to say i'm gonna have to say now one spot that i will give i'll go ahead and i'll give that to the pine greens when it comes to the ankle to around where the ankle collar is at where the collar is at i'll have to give that to the pine greens that is a little bit more softer than that <clears throat> And trust me, there's a lot more uh, softer uh, Jordan 1s in uh, Sports Illustrated. You know. Next one. Let's go ahead and let's do the shadows on them, guys. Because the shadows, the other two uh, sneakers that I showed were kind of like a tumble leather. So let's go ahead and let's let's check out the, uh, the shadows. Now the shadows... When I got these, I was really impressed on the leather, guys, and it is. It's butter, butter, butter soft, guys. Yeah, even on the side. Let's check this one out. Let's see. Yeah, you know what? I'll have to give the side panel to the uh, pine greens on this one. These are still stiff on the side, but this right here, this part right here, Mm, you know what? I might have to give that to the, the uh, so okay guys. So here we go the uh, the pine green 2.0s are softer than the shadows You know what I mean? You know and then some shadow ones, you know, they are they were a little bit better Now when it comes to the black leather on the side, no this right here is a little bit more softer than that but And I'm gonna have to say the collar, yeah, you got to give it to the to the uh, the shadows on the collar. You guys can see that right there. Super, super butter on that collar, guys. Like I, that was one of the things I was impressed with with the uh, shadows. It's super, super soft right there. But like I said, man, the uh, the 2.0s they do have soft leather. But I just think that a lot of people are they they, they try to compare these shoes to and say, oh, this is the best or or whatever the case may be. And in all reality, they're they're not like any better than any other shoe. I just think people try to talk, like talk shoes up and try to hype talk them so people you know will jump on the wagon now this is like my probably like my most stiffest shoe that i fucking got in my collection pretty much well no i got a few other ones but this one right here it's soft but yeah so you know what i mean rating the 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 leather i'm gonna have to say yeah this definitely the two point o's the pine green 2.0s got this all over all around but like i said this is like one of the stiffest uh jordan ones that i had i just brought it out just for comparison it's the quickest one to grab but this sneaker this particular sneaker guys you know it the the leather is soft a shattered backboard no it's not is it probably close yeah it is and it's probably close to like you know a lot of sneakers out there now i wish i would have got my hands on the uh unc to chicago's and you know and then i would have been able because i think everybody i think it looks like to me like from videos that i've seen it looks like to me that the uh, unc to chicago's are a little bit more uh soft but i could be wrong because i haven't had it in hand and this is the first time i had this in hand too as well guys and as you guys know it is a size 15 so that's a lot of leather so you know some of your guys' sizes might be you know a little bit more softer than this but y'all let me know down in the comments if you guys pick these up man was your guys's uh leather on this butter soft you know um i'm really impressed with this black leather but <clears throat> this is all right but it's not not nothing like ridiculous but anyways i'm gonna flip the camera around i'm gonna chop it up with you guys a little bit more about the sneaker and some upcoming releases and then i'll let you guys go man so you know that was the the comparison video guys and i guess the whole part of this comparison video here let me put this uh insert back in the whole uh thing of me doing the comparison video guys was don't 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 believe the hype this is going to be as soft as any other leather that we've gotten. It's not something that's going to be more ridiculously soft. Sometimes, you know, some shoes, like, I, like I've like i seen one of my friends, 
uh, Spider-Man ones and they were freaking like stiff stiff so it all depends on what pair you get it's, you know you know it might have been just the three pairs that I've had my hands on um, it is soft you know what I mean um, but it's not the softest that I've touched uh, on a, um, uh, on a Jordan 1 alone um, another like I said another complaint that I had was the uh, red Nike Air not a fan of that at all um and then the midsole as far as that but other than that i'll have to rate this sneaker i'll have to give this sneaker an eight a strong eight too um i am kind of impressed with it with the leather i you know what i mean i didn't think it was going to be that soft but you know what i mean so i can i could be a man and eat my words that it is soft and it does bang with some of these other uh soft uh, leather jordan ones that i have so but you guys let me know down in the comments how you what what number do you guys rate, rate this uh jordan one pine green 2.0 and is it better than the og pine greens my opinion i like the og pine greens because it has that sail and it has the white panel you know what i mean on the side you know that's just that's just my opinion but <clears throat> next pickup that's coming up guys who's what's everybody's next pickup i know this weekend what do we got the unc threes you know that's a pass for me i'm not a big fan of north carolina blue just like i'm not a big fan of uh green so am i gonna try to get it in my hands yet so i can do it with you guys and you know what i mean let you guys know my thoughts and opinions on the sneaker which you guys probably won't like because like i said i'm not a big fan of unc but with that being said man i'm gonna go ahead and end this video shout out to you guys thank you for fucking with your boy much respect stay blessed and on to the next peace